Hello my friends, Enrique here and let me show you today the best settings for your AMD Radeon graphic card. These settings are created to improve performance in your Radeon graphic card. It's not going to give you a boost of 20 or more FPS, but every improvement that we can do in our system is going to help, especially now that the prices of the GPUs are so expensive. Let's jump right into it. The first step on this tutorial is to download the AMD Radeon software. If you want to go to the description down below, I'm going to let you guys the link and you can go to the auto detect and install updates from Radeon Graphics and Ryzen. You want to click into download now. This will auto detect the type of graphic card that you're using and install the best drivers and software for your system. When it's downloaded, all that you have to do is to go and install it. Now, this is going to check your PC for driver and software compatibility. Now, when this is done, it's going to give you two options, the recommended and the optional. I would recommend you guys, of course, that you choose the recommended. And I don't have it here because I already have the software installed, but it's also going to show you to install the Adrenaline software. Now, guys, you want to click on install, and when this is done, you want to restart your system. Now, to open the software, you want to right-click anywhere empty on your desktop. If you're running Windows 10, it's going to be right here, but if you have Windows 11 like I am, it's going to be under Show More Options. And here you're going to see the AMD Radeon software. You want to open it. And the most important thing on this homepage is right here, Drivers and Software. If you don't have the latest driver, I recommend you that you download it. And I really think that you should do this at least once a week or once every two weeks to update your drivers. Click into Download, and this is going to download and install the latest drivers for your GPU. Now we only have to wait until it's done. So now that you have already downloaded and installed the latest drivers, you want to go into the Gaming tab here on the top. Here you're going to see a list of all the games that you have installed at the moment, but for this video you want to click where we'll say Global Graphics. Go inside of there, and here you have different settings. Gaming, eSport, Power Saving, Standard and Custom. For this tutorial we're going to be modifying the eSport mode because it's the one that is going to give you more FPS in games. Radeon Anti-Lag is something that I recommend you guys that you set into Enable. It's going to adjust the frame timing to reduce lag between user inputs and visual responses. What this means is going to give you less input lag in your games. Radeon Chill, you want to set it into Disable because this is going to limit the frames per second of your game in moments where there isn't too much action to save some power. But if you're going to be into gaming, especially competitive gaming, you don't want this, so set it into Disable. Radeon Boost is something that you can try out. I set myself into Disable, I don't like it, and there aren't too much games that use it, so I really don't find a need for it. Into Image Sharpening, this is all up to you. What this does is that this applies a sharpening filter into the image, so you can run your games in a lower resolution and they will look a little bit better. In some games, it works. In other ones, not so much. If you want to enable it, then set it into 80% to begin with and then play with these settings until you find the one that is right for you. Radeon Enhanced Sync. This is an alternative to V-Sync that is going to help you with visual tiering, but this does not limit your frame rates. This is another setting that I personally set it into Disable, but if you want to try it out, you can change it. And into Wait for Vertical Reflex, this is going to give you a lot of input lag, so I would recommend you to set it into Always Off. Now let's go into the Advanced tab, uh, Frame Rate Target Control, set it into Disable, this is going to give you, again, some input lag, so I will not recommend you. Into Anti-Aliasing, I would recommend you to use Application Settings, but this means is that in the game itself, you're going to change how the anti-aliasing work. Anti-aliasing method, multi-sampling, and into morphological anti-aliasing, also set it into disable. And isotropic filtering. This is something that depending on the game that you're using, you're going to have it or not. But normally what this will do to improve the texture clarity and minimizing the visual noise. I don't like it. I set it into off. Into texture filtering quality, set it into performance. Again, this is going to get you the best performance by losing just a tiny bit of quality, you are almost not going to notice the difference. Surface Format Optimization. Set it into Enable, because this is going to allow the drivers of your graphic card to optimize the application and to ensure more optimal textures for it. Now, into Tessellation Mode, I would recommend you that you guys set Override Application Settings, and into Maximum Tessellation Level, that you want to set it into Off. This is going to give you, again, the more frame per second for your system. OpenGL Triple Buffering, you want to set it to Disable, 10-bit pixel format, this is only available for a specific displays, 
So for most of you that you don't have this, you want to set it into disable, keep your workload, of course, set it into graphics and not to compute, and reset shader cache. This is something that I recommend you guys that you do it at least once a year or something like that to reset your shader cache from your drivers and your graphic card. Now let's go into the display tab here above. In here, if you have IMD FreeSync compatible monitor, you want to set this into on. If you play more history-based games, but if you are playing more competitive games, I recommend you to set it into off. If you have a really good graphic card, set the virtual super resolution to enable. What this is going to do is to render your game at a higher frame rate than what your monitor is, and then reduce it to your monitor size. So the games are going to look even better of what it is. Of course, it's going to cost you some frames per second. Now into GPU scaling, I would recommend you guys to set this into disable. Uh, scaling mode, you want to put it into full panel. The custom colors is only if you want to change how your monitor looks like. I don't really want to change this, so I leave it in this place. Now we can go into the video tab. Here in the video profile is nothing more as how you like to watch your video. You want to change it to sport, vivid, enhanced. It's like these typical settings that you can find in your TV. Nothing to change here. Now, the last thing that we want to do is to go into the performance tab. Here you can see the metrics of your GPU, how everything is going, the power consumption, temperature, the utilization, and everything else. You want to click into tuning. When you're in here, you're going to see that you are into the default profile. You can do a manual tuning or a manual overclock of your GPU, but if you don't really want to manually overclock your GPU, you want to click into overclock GPU. First, it's going to give you a warning that these are invasive programs and may cause your system to crash or reboot. Normally, this works really good and it's really difficult that you're going to find a problem with this. So you want to click into proceed. This is going to analyze your GPU and to make a small overclock for it. This overclock is pretty safe. I have never had a problem with this automatic overclock of the GPU from AMD systems. So it's another way that you can win a couple of more FPS from your game. Click on OK. And now your GPU is going to be overclocked just a tiny bit. That is really not going to hurt your graphic card. That is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, a subscriber is always welcome. Thanks for watching, my friends. And like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.